Hello my lovely people, today we're going to make some uh, mushroom with uh, red bell pepper and uh, onion. I already uh, chopped my, my onion and the red bell pepper, it's already ready and we're going to set it aside and I'm going to go ahead and cut the mushroom. So we're going to cut it wild, you know, like a big, however, use your own judgment as a uh, as far as how you want to cut your or cut the mushroom or if you're gonna say chop it I don't know so use your own judgment these are the baby bella baby bella mushroom so they're very very delicious so this is how I'm cutting it you know it's just uh, you grab your knife like that you know you try to make the size more manageable to your mouth as they say, your the mouth doesn't have uh, a limit. You will be surprised how much your mouth can be <laughs> open wide. Okay, so this is how we are cutting it. Here we have our mushroom all cut, and we're gonna go ahead and rinse it. You have a choice to rinse it before you cut it or after you cut it. So I would go ahead and rinse it now. Okay, we have our oil here it's about roughly like a half a cup to you know i would say half a cup yep so we have the onion already chopped yeah that's the onion and the orange bell pepper okay my lovely people we have this uh mortar and pistol we have our garlic inside so i had did put about like a about four small garlic to five ish so I try to maneuver you know it's not as easy as people think but hey so that's the garlic let's go ahead and start the assembling of our uh, frying here we are we fry our onion and we're gonna go ahead and put our garlic okay dogs that's the garlic okay go ahead and add your diced tomato or fresh tomato so i already put my fresh tomato it's uh grounded you know like I, I um i put it in a blender you know so that's my uh fresh tomato so go ahead and now uh, add you this one is um uh, ragu i usually cook with ragu just a little bit okay of uh, like a half a kitchen spoonful of this about there so you don't need a lot of tomato because we are cooking vegetable I try to limit the amount of tomato or else it's gonna be sour okay my lovely people we got our sauce where we need it look at that sauce so you fry your onion your garlic and your tomato fresh tomato or either you could use a um just um uh, ragu everything is fine whatever tomato you have on hand and right now we're gonna go ahead and add these bad boys right here the orange bell pepper that's the chopped green bell pepper you know so it's frozen i do buy it as frozen so we're gonna go ahead and add some in our sauce so that's how it looks like um the reason why i'm adding this one it's because uh the fresh one it's finished so if you have a fresh uh, bell pepper go ahead add the fresh one because this one just disappoints me with the color you know all right so give it a few minutes to go ahead and um simmer and then we're gonna go ahead and add our mushroom regardless it looks amazing beautiful i like colors you know mm -mm 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 -mm. so good so yummy all right my lovely people here we have our mushroom it's well washed and i believe uh, all the water dr got drained that's why i had it in the strainer so we're gonna go ahead and add it in our sauce here we are we're gonna add it in our sauce slowly surely 
boom, shakalaka, it went in. So go ahead and mix your vegetable inside your sauce and that's the result. We're gonna go ahead and add some uh, onion powder and a garlic powder. Not forgetting the salt to taste. So as you all know me, I usually use the chicken flavor bouillon and I'm gonna use the Chinese salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and add about half a teaspoon of the Chinese salt. Okay, it's the crystal clear, you know, the Chinese salt. You can find it at the Chinese store. This right here is onion powder. About uh, half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of the garlic powder. Half a teaspoon of the nutmeg. Tablespoon for the chicken flavor bouillon. Now that we have all our ingredients inside, go ahead and mix it well. Okay, my lovely people, we're gonna give it time to simmer and to make the water evaporates so that's the only thing about mushroom it does spits natural water so that's just about it and plus because we rinse it prior to cooking it so just give it a little time so i went and add a little bit of little bit little bit of water you don't really have to but i just did to um make a um mix the flavor all together good to incorporate the flavor in our sauce and right now i tasted it and it needs a little pinch of salt so that's my salt you can go ahead and add your chicken flavor bouillon or whatever but at the end if you taste the salt is not like uh that you know that right you can add a pinch so that's exactly what i did and we're gonna give it time to simmer hello my lovely people now um let's say if you're gonna use the fufu to eat it with you need to leave some uh, some soup or sauce however you want to call it but if you're gonna use rice as well because mushroom you can eat it with anything really and uh, the side dish you can have meat or um, fish anything that you want on site okay so we reach at the end of uh, our video so this is how it looks like and we're gonna go ahead and turn off our stove and here we are oh lord oh lord this marsh mushroom tastes so so delicious so i know some people will be worried about uh worried about the color these are the uh, baby bella uh whenever you cook it it does uh become a little darkish you know your sauce will be a little darkish um, if you are worried about this you can use uh, the regular mushroom the white one and you will have the better effect so I love me some baby better and uh, we reach at the end of our, um, of our video so please my lovely people my beautiful people my family I love you guys and uh, thank you so much for subscribing uh, subscribing um, liking the video and uh, leaving comment below so all your comments do really uh, help me you know like uh, work hard and bring some good recipe for you guys and to put some nice food on the table so here we are this one you can use it as a soup you can eat it with your spoon as it is and i just wanted to throw it in there a uh, mushroom it's a uh, very very healthy and it does treat a lot of diseases so please uh for people that don't like mushroom try your best you can saute, uh, saute your mushroom and eat as much as you can because it is healthy and it does treat a lot of diseases so thank you so much for watching and for riding with me for being a part of my family and i thank god every single day for you guys because of you guys you make me to be where i am today with all the subscribers that i have it's because of you guys so thank you thank you so much and whenever i reach almost um a thousand subscriber i will do a giveaway so please share with your loved one 
uh, family member, why not, friends, and uh, support me to grow this channel. Thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.